Next, we have some other EC Hafer Park improvements that we would like to discuss today on 9C2. Ryan, are you going to give us the update on these? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good evening. Ryan Oxner, Director, Director of Community Quality. I wanted to speak to you about a couple of projects we have uh, in and uh, near Hafer Park. These projects are up for design and to orient you to the three projects. Um, that are kind of merged together in this one larger project. Here is Bryant, of course, Hafer Park shown here. Here's uh, 2nd Street and Vista Lane. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Down here on the south side is 15th Street. So this project entails a side path trail along Vista Lane that will connect to Hafer Park. It entails improving um, some maintenance uh, needs, meeting the maintenance needs of some trails in Hafer Park, our existing trails, just um, looking to maintain, fix some cracks, those sorts of things. We're not looking to really rebuild or widen these trails, just uh, kind of some upkeep. And then the other part of this project is to develop this 22 acres south of Hafer Park in, uh, as, as the Edmund Land Conservancy indicated in the Memorandum of Understanding and the conservation easement that was recently um, granted on this piece of property. So uh, following what's laid out, and we'll touch on it uh, here briefly in a moment, in those documents, we'll develop that uh, piece of property according to that. Uh, and actually, that's what the next slide is about. Uh, so here on the north is Hafer Park, here's Spring Creek, and this is the master plan that was developed working with Edmund Land Conservancy. So um, if this contract that's before you this evening is awarded, we'll uh, hire consultants to design this trail system through here, uh, design there's some fencing that's identified, a small outdoor classroom, some signage, those sorts of things, and of course a bridge connecting, a uh, pedestrian bridge connecting Hafer Park to this 22 acres south of Spring Creek. Uh, so all of that is, um, would be designed with this as well. So the goal of this project is to, uh, related to each different one, to develop the preserve at Hafer Park as it's identified in the Memorandum of, un of Understanding with the LC. We've worked with them very closely still even to get to this point. Uh, there's some of the improvements that are outlined in that Memorandum of, of Understanding and the conservation easement. A goal of this is also provide some cost savings we have these very similar projects that happen to be going on, uh, coinciding at the same point in time here near this area. So we expect some cost savings from that. And, uh, but also still keep everything uh, transparent as far as funding goes. Uh, and let's see, I've got a slide on that here and just actually right here. So if, as you recall, of course, there was a temporary uh, tax to buy that land south of Hafer Park. That money that was generated in excess of what it took to purchase that property is set aside and in reserves. So one of the items on tonight's agenda moves money from the reserves to where it can be spent to fund the design portion of the contract. There will still be funds left there to uh, construct the improvements that are going to be designed. Next year in the park tax fund, we've identified some funding for the trail improvements and also the Vista Lane side path trail project that I mentioned uh, there was recently a grant that you all accepted um, that will fund that with some city matching funds. Our timeline looks at over the next year, going through all this design process, and then uh, being ready for construction right at a year from now is what we're shooting for. Uh, there is some uh, a slide illustrating what the different um, Agenda items are doing, as I mentioned, moving the funds to where they're appropriately to be spent from. Parks and Recreation Advisory Board reviewed this memorandum of understanding that all this contracting is based on and recommend approval of that. And the staff recommends approval as well. Happy to answer any questions and provide additional information if I can. Council, any additional questions, comments? Thank you very much. Thank you. 